I'm trying to Necrozma Dusk main team today. Um, so with Necrozma, I obviously want to set up Trick Room. So I have Trick Room on the Necrozma along with Psychic Veins, Rockside, and Sunsteel Strike, and then a Weakness Policy. And my other Trick Room setter is Mimikyu. Mimikyu is one of the best Trick Room setters right now because of its ability to disguise. I also have the Mental Herb on it so that it can't be taunted. And then I have Shadow Sneak on the Mimikyu so that it could potentially trigger Necrozma's weakness policy because Necrozma is weak to Ghost. Other Pokemon on the team, Serena obviously is a really good Pokemon right now with Queenly Majesty so that your opponent can't use priority moves. I put a wide lens on Serena because its moves are very low accuracy. I got Power Whip, Triple Axle, and Play Rough. Play Rough and Triple Axle are both base 90, but with the wide lens that makes them 99. And Power Whip is base 85, which means with the wide lens it would be something like 83 and a half or something like that. Then I've got an Incineroar. I did put Close Combat on my Incineroar because I felt like I needed a little more offense out of it. But I still just have a Citrus Berry. I know I could put an Assault Vest on it, but right now I prefer the Citrus Berry. I have a Gastrodon, and this is going to help me out against Stack Attacka. So Stack Attacka is four times weak to Earth Power, and he's also weak to Water. So Gastrodon is really good for that. I also put Ice Beam to help deal with Pokemon like Garchomp and Landorus. So both of those are four times weak to Ice. Um, obviously there's other things that are weak to Ice, but those are two big things that are common right now that are weak to Ice. And then lastly, I have Chandelure. I put Infiltrator on Chandelure so that it can get around things like Substitute and Screens. And the reason I put Chandelure on here is because it's great against both Calyrex Shadow Rider and Zacian when Trick Room is set. So when Trick Room is up, um, Chandelure is a great Pokemon to play against Zacian and Calyrex Shadow. So there's a code on the bottom if you feel like using this team. I think it's pretty good. It helped me get to Master Ball tier. So I'm going to play a couple games here and see how it goes. All right, in first match, we're going up against Zacian, and he's got Tailwind. And then he's got Incineroar, Urshifu, and Rillaboom. So super common Pokemon right now. I'm obviously going to want to set up Trick Room here. So I think Incineroar and Mimikyu is a good lead. And then I definitely want Necrozma. Do I want to try Chandelure? I really like Serena because he has a lot of priority moves. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring Serena. All right, so he's leading Tornadus and Incineroar. So that makes me wonder if he has Taunt on both of them. But I'm glad I brought my Incineroar because now I can fake one of them out and he can't taunt me twice. So I'm definitely going to get my Trick Room up. And then we'll go from there. So the question is, who do I want to fake out? I think I'm going to fake out Tornadus. And Trick Room. This is where it would be nice to have Parting Shot to help get my Incineroar in. So that's completely fine, right? Because, yeah, I got the Mental Herb, so this is completely fine. But now, like I said, this would be great to have Parting Shot to get a switch into one of my other Pokemon. This would also be great to have Gastrodon right now for the Incineroar. I probably just should have brought him. But this is fine. Um, this is why I put close combat on my Incineroar, is to battle other Incineroars. So I'm going to do that and play rough. Because I want to get rid of this Incineroar right now, because both of my other Pokemon are weak to it. So if I can take out his Incineroar with these two, um, then I should be in pretty good shape. He's going to use Parting Shot. It's be interesting to see who he goes into here. He 
goes into Zashian. So this makes me wonder if he's just going to switch right back into his Incineroar. Or if he's just going to try to kill the Mimikyu. I'll go for Flare Blitz, but I really want to get Necrozma in here. So I'm going to switch him in. I think that's safe because if he goes Behemoth Blade, that shouldn't do too much damage. And I'll get a Flare Blitz on him. But he's playing this really well right now. He's getting Intimidate drops on me. And he just goes for Protect. Okay, that's fine. So he's going to go for Fake Out. So I'm going to switch in Serena. And then do I just Rock Slide to get more damage on the Incineroar? He's kind of the biggest pain for me right now. Or I could Sun Steel Strike Zashian. I'm going to do that. The Incineroar is a real pain right now. So I figured there was a good chance he would switch. So this like guarantees damage into that slot. But again, he's playing this really smart, and this is why I need to get rid of that Incineroar. And this is also why I should have brought um, Gastrodon along. Yeah, this is tough, because I'm sure he's just going to switch back into Incineroar, right? So I can go Triple Axel on Tornadoes and see if I can get rid of that. Unless he just protects it. It's last room, last turn of Trick Room. So I'm going to switch Mimikyu back in. I'm surprised he stayed in with the Urshifu. So he's probably going to go into Zashi in here since Trick Room's over. Yeah, so I can obviously switch into Incineroar. So I'm thinking I'm going to go Power Whip. He has his Incineroar, though. So maybe I go Play Rough. In case he switches into Incineroar, Power Whip won't do anything to it. And then I'm going to switch into my Incineroar.
So that's a good play by my opponent, and the Surging Strikes and doing Cinerar makes a lot of sense. Punishes my switch in. So I definitely should have just gone for Power Whip. I should have thought that through better. Yeah, it's a mistake by me. That still is 50%. And it's more accurate. It's 99 instead of like 93, so I guess it wasn't the worst play in the world. So I'm going to click Fake Out on Zashian and play her off into the Urshifu slot again. Okay, that makes sense. He's going to stay in with the Urshifu. Ah, I should have just faked out the Urshifu, expecting the Protect there. Then that would have been a fantastic turn. Yeah, that's disappointing. Now I'm in a tough spot. I probably... Yeah, this is a mistake. I should have went with Mimikyu because then I wouldn't have gotten intimidated. Yeah, I screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be tough from here. I don't know if I should try to rock slide to get more damage on Incineroar. I don't know how much Sunsteel Strike is going to do into Zashian. Do I trick room here? I'm going to go for Sun Steel Strike. He protected Zashian last turn, so let's get some damage on it. Okay, but he's going to activate my weakness policy here. So I'm going to do a lot more on this next turn. Assuming that he doesn't knock me out first. So I'm going to go play rough into Incineroar and Sunsteel Strike into Zashian. I don't know if there's any way I can win this though. Yeah, and I should have thought of that. If I had just... Oh, man, I made a couple of really bad plays. If I had just gone Rock Slide here, I would have knocked Incineroar out. And then this would have been looking really good for me. Yeah, that's a really bad mistake. And Incineroar survives. And now I lose. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> well, I made two crucial mistakes in this game. I could have gone fake out on the Urshfu, expecting Zashian to protect. And, again, on that turn, expecting a protect. I should have doubled into the Incineroar. And then we'd have a three on one, and I don't see how he beats that. Thing. Oh, that really sucks.
yeah, this definitely was winnable if I had made the right moves. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, I might as well just quit here. I can't beat that Zashian with Serena. Yeah, a couple big mistakes there is what cost me. I definitely could have won that one. All right, so now we got a Groudon team. This is going to be tough for me as well. Um, I should be able to get up Trick Room. Man, I really don't have a good answer for Porygon, though, do I? So if I'm my opponent, who do I lead? Probably Incineroar and Porygon. All right. I'm going to go Incineroar and Necrozma with the lead. No, I'm not. Incineroar, Mimikyu, Necrozma. And I really think Chandelure is good here. So I'm going to give that a try. Chandelure should be really good with the sun up. Okay, that's not what I was expecting him to go with, but that works for me. So I'm going to fake out the Groudon and Trick Room with Mimikyu. Oh, he's got quick guard. That's fine, I'm still going to get up my trick room, but he's probably going to knock out my Incineroar. Oh, Incineroar survives, okay. I'll take that first turn. Now what do I do with this turn is the question. I really want to take out the Zapdos. Uh. So I could see him protecting Groudon here. I'm going to double into the Zapdos. If I was him, I'd probably protect Groudon. Well, he's not going to protect either one. But this is okay with me. Like, I really want Zapdos out of here. All right, so now I can activate my weakness policy and attack Groudon, or I can just hit him with Chandelure. I really didn't think this through, did I? I still think I'm okay right now. So I'm going to flamethrower and play rough. Or do I want to shadow claw to make sure that it hits? Because play rough could miss. So I'm going to do shadow claw. And that's why I did Shadow Claw. Guarantee that I hit and knock him out. So that's perfect. Now I should win this. So he's gotten Cineroar. Uh, 
I mean, Incineroar is good against me. Oh, man. So this is still not over. Both my Pokemon are ghosts, so he can't use Fake Out. Um, okay, I need to get damage on Incineroar. That probably just knocks me out, right? Oh, I survived. That's huge. Because that gets um, Tornadus down to his Focus Sash. So that's a big deal. So now I can use Rock Slide. But is Incineroar going to one-shot me with Flare Blitz? That's the question. And, uh, well, I guess Trick Room doesn't necessarily work against me unless he one-shots me. Then it does, because I have the weakness policy. So if he goes Flare Blitz and doesn't knock me out, then my weakness policy is going to activate. So it all depends on whether or not Incineroar can one-shot me. Let's see how much this does. I survive. Okay, I should win then. Unless I miss. But this, I would think, knocks both of them out. Yep, perfect. Another close one, though. All right, well, that's where I'm going to stop for today. Uh, not a great showing from this team, but I think there's some pretty good components to it. I might have to tinker with it a little bit, but I still think it's a pretty solid team, and it's been fun to play with. So I'm trying to use um, different Pokemon right now instead of just Zashin and Kyogre like everybody else is using. Um, so I'm trying to use different things and just have some fun. I know I can win games with Zashin and Kyogre, but like I said, I'm trying to have fun with other Pokemon and see how they work.